what is up guys welcome to today's video um, as you have seen in my last video that the Bronco is kind of rough um, you can see there's no windshield and if you can take a wild guess at why the top is so messed up um, you would know that unfortunately I did roll the Bronco <laughs> Not very cool. If you want more information and you want to see the video, go watch my last YouTube video I filmed on it. Um, I talked about it and showed some of the clips in the video because we actually did get it on video. You'll see, there's a whole story behind it. But today, we're gonna try to get it running. So when it flipped, obviously all the fluid started pouring out all down the windshield inside the car. Um, so the trans fluid, motor oil, power steering fluid. Brake fluid is actually fine. That system is sealed because it's pressurized. Um, and so I didn't have to worry about that. But today, got some, we're just gonna do an oil change, drain it, put some new oil in. Obviously we need a bunch of power steering because it all came out completely. ATF, of course, we got two gallons of it. And then we got some more in the cupboard. And if we need more than this, I don't know how much drained out, so I'm gonna start it. Probably start by putting a gallon in because there was a lot of red fluid all over the place. And then after that, we can um, just kind of go from there and read the level. So, um, first things first, let's drain the old oil out of the motor, some new motor oil in, drop a gallon of ATF in there, put the new battery in, power steering in, and uh, let's try to crank it over. Hopefully it doesn't splash it in Okay, so now we're gonna throw all five quarts in because that's what it calls for um, when you're doing an oil change without the filter. It's a 5.8 liter uh, V8 351 Windsor. And then we're gonna throw this in too. Everything is so oily from when it flipped. All the trans, trans fluid and butter oil and everything just coming out. It kind of sucks. I was supposed to do some big things with this pretty soon, like the Phi Tech, which I'm gonna do anyways. Now I gotta cut the roof off and do a bunch of stuff. So definitely not my proudest moment. Now we're gonna throw some power steering fluid in there, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so motor oil is in, trans fluid is in, just one uh, gallon of it so far. Gonna start it up, I gotta connect the battery here. Fresh battery, uh, power steering fluid is in. I'm just gonna let it run for a second and see what it does because I think I'm gonna need to add more trans fluid and obviously more power steering fluid once it cycles through the system. It is turned on, let's see. I'll, I'll prime the fuel pump twice. to reverse power steering's back and it's driving the brakes feel a little mushy but I'm not gonna worry about that yet gosh dang it man I'm so sad that I flipped this thing makes me so sad. Put so much time and money and effort into this over the years and to see it like this just really makes me sad. But I owe it to the Bronco and I owe it to myself and everyone who's helped me get this to where it is to uh, build it back better than it was before. So the comeback is gonna be pretty crazy. We're gonna try to take it for a little test drive here. So I'm gonna see how I can set up the camera so I can take you guys with me. I haven't been in this thing since uh, since I was upside down in it. It might be running on seven cylinders. It definitely is. Okay, hopefully it stays. Oh, it's moving.
How crazy is that? Driving on no windshield, running like crap, but hey. It was upside down a couple days ago. So that's kind of cool. Well, not cool that it was upside down, but cool that it's running. Oh man, what am I gonna do with this thing? Well, you guys. I am going to clean up the garage and put this thing back. Stay tuned because Rocco V2 is uh, coming soon here. Going to do some cool stuff, um, add to the bill, wrap, things like that. I think it should be pretty neat. Um, if there's any companies you guys want to see me work with for this second build, leave a comment down below. I'd like to see uh, what you guys want to see on the truck, what you guys want to see me do with it. The time of this video, I don't know if I release the shirts or not from the Bronco. If I did, I'll put them on the screen right here and the link will be in my description. Um, and if I didn't, then I'm ghosting you guys and you don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, peace.